Everybody Calypso! Welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is week number 12 as we once again cook the food of every country in the world and we're up to the Bahamas. The Bahamas are an island chain located just a few miles east of where we're standing here right now. And tonight we're going to be cooking three traditional dishes. First, we'll be cooking conch fritters and we're going to be serving that along with boiled fish and peas and rice. Remember, that's peas and rice, not rice and peas. It's very particular in the Bahamas. These are the same three dishes we cooked last time around, so let's take a look and see how things went then. Well, four years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge, I was just about as frazzled then as I am right now. There are a lot of ingredients to get to, and I really had only been cooking for a short time. Also, the idea of deep frying the conch was something of an issue. Still, it came out very, very delicious. The peas and rice gave me food for days, and the boiled fish was also very good. So, this time around, ingredient note on the conch. When you go to buy fresh conch, be sure to tenderize it. We pounded it flat underneath a sheet of plastic before dicing it up. So, Let's take a look at the ingredients for tonight's three dishes. First, for our conch fritters, we have oil for our deep fryer, three quarter cup all purpose flour, one egg, a half a cup of milk, cayenne pepper, salt and pepper to taste, one cup of chopped conch meat, one half of an onion chopped, one half of a green bell pepper chopped, two stalks of celery chopped, and two cloves of garlic chopped. And for the dipping sauce for the conch fritters, we have two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of hot sauce, or less if you don't want it that hot, and salt and pepper to taste. Next, for our peas and rice, we have one cup of dried pigeon peas soaked overnight with the soaking water being reserved, two cloves of chopped garlic, the leaves of five sprigs of fresh thyme, two cups of long grain rice, one red bell pepper diced, two scallions chopped, a half a cup of bacon chopped, that came to about three strips, one tablespoon of tomato paste, and salt and pepper to taste. And finally, for our boiled fish, we have one pound of skinless grouper fillets, the juice of one lemon, salt, one and a half tablespoons of butter, one cup of water, a quarter pound of sliced potatoes, a half a teaspoon of chopped garlic, half a tablespoon of chopped parsley, one scotch bonnet pepper chopped, one large onion sliced, and a quarter cup of chopped celery. Well, that does it. Here we go. Bring a saucepan with six cups of water to a boil. Add pigeon peas. Simmer for approximately 45 minutes until tender. In a medium saucepan, over medium heat, add diced bacon. Fry for a few minutes. Then add scallions, chopped garlic, chopped red bell pepper, and saute for three to five minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Add thyme and tomato paste. Then drain the pigeon peas and reserve the water. Add the pigeon peas to the saucepan. Add in four cups of the reserved water and bring to a boil. Add rice. Cover and turn the heat to low. Cook until the water is evaporated. First wash and dry the fish fillets. Sprinkle with lemon juice and salt. Into a large saucepan over medium heat add butter and one cup of water. Add the sliced potatoes, parsley, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, salt, and lemon juice, and bring to a boil and simmer for 10 minutes. Lower the heat and add the fish fillets. Layer on the onions and the celery. Reduce the heat and let it cook on low for 10 minutes. In a large bowl, mix flour, egg, milk, season with cayenne pepper, salt and pepper, mix in the conch meat, the chopped onion, green bell pepper, chopped celery, and chopped garlic. Mix well and set aside. In a small bowl, mix ketchup, lime juice, and hot sauce. Season with salt and pepper, stir well and set aside. Preheat the oil to 365 Fahrenheit in a saucepan or deep pot. Drop spoonfuls of the batter into the hot oil. Fry one to two minutes until golden. 
Remove the fritters from the oil and drain on paper towels. Plate the fish fillets, dress with onions and potatoes, scoop on servings of the peas and rice, plate the conch fritters and dipping sauce alongside. How'd it go? Okay, first off, moment of truth. The conch fritters. That did not look pretty. I basically had the same problem I had last time, and I guess I didn't learn from my mistake. I tried putting more flour into it, but the choice of using the deep fryer was a big mistake. Still, Dance 10 looks three. The conch fritters were absolutely delicious, and with the dipping sauce, they were out of this world. Unfortunately, they were very not pretty. So because of the user error, and possibly a recipe error, I'm gonna give the conch fritters four out of five globes. Seriously, if I hadn't made that mistake, it would've been fine. The peas and rice were nice. They were filling, you could get the really earthy flavor of the pigeon peas, and the other ingredients in it made it nice and well balanced. Still, it was okay. Therefore, I'm gonna give the peas and rice three out of five globes. It was filling and hearty, and it gave me food for a few days. As for the boiled fish, grouper always gives me a problem because it's a very thick fish. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but still it came out really well, and the different flavors that went into it, the citrus and the parsley, made it a really nice dish. The fish was well cooked, so I'm gonna give the boiled fish three out of five globes. I would have given it four, but there really wasn't that much in terms of flavor there. So that does it for the Bahamas. If you have any feedback on the food of the Bahamas, any suggestions for dishes that we are going to be making in the future, or any helpful tips, please feel free to let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see the streams when they're live, remember to follow us on Periscope or Busker. The streams are live every Tuesday night. Be sure to tune in next week when we head to the Arabian Peninsula to eat the food of Bahrain. Remember to like and subscribe so you can be apprised when these videos are posted every Wednesday night. Until then, thanks for watching and happy eating!